Grace, you know another thing that just boggles my mind and I watched the show for for all the wrong reasons. It's such a good show. It's very entertaining, but I find myself kind of zoning out during it because I'm thinking about other circumstances. Shark Tank. Now I I love Shark Tank. I think it's great, but but some of the people that come up, it 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 really makes you wonder. Like there was this couple that came up the other day. They were the Duncan family. They had like six kids. Now Mr. Duncan. The, the What they were presenting to the sharks was a heatable coffee mug so that your coffee stays heated, which I, I guess it's a good idea. You know, the product looked good and all. But I'm thinking to myself, now, Jack Duncan, the husband, was the one working on the coffee mug. Okay, so it makes me think Miss Duncan's got six kids to look out for. So while Miss Duncan's taking care of the kids... What the fuck is Jack doing? How, how, how is there any source of income coming into the Duncan family? Because to start out, and then they're in the starting phase of it, they're not making any money. So Miss Duncan's out just grinding it out with the kids. Jack's making fucking coffee mugs. And, and, and you know, I'm watching the show, and this is all that I'm thinking about. And And every person that comes into the tank, they start off by telling you, how big of a market there is for it. Which, when you really think about it, there's a market for anything. So this guy, Mr. Duncan, comes up and he goes, there's a million-dollar market. I think he said a billion-dollar market in coffee mugs. I'm thinking, about the, the, there's a billion-dollar market for every... There's a billion-dollar market for toothpicks because enough restaurants are buying them somewhere so when you're done with your meal, you use a toothpick. So even the toothpick... It's a billion dollar a year market. So I never understood that opening argument that they'll make to sell the product. But, you know, another thing that I thought of, how often do you buy a new coffee mug? Like, aren't the Dunkins kind of screwed in that sense, too? <laughs> it, it, I, I mean, they really, it, it's like going, it's like a vacuum. It's yeah. like, how often are you renewing your vacuum? Few and far between. You got to be so sure. Like, there's a place in LA, Alex, called We Are Vacuums. Okay. Yeah, I'm convinced those are always fronts. It's got to be. They've got to be cleaning be. money. Right. Yeah. It's got to be. Because in order for them to stay in business, anytime somebody needs a new vacuum, which is once every ten years, I, I mean, I, I'm not renewing my my vacuum often. You better be so damn sure that they're showing up to your vacuum store. And it's kind of the case with the coffee mugs and the Dunkins here. I mean, don't all coffee mugs that you have in your cabinet just come from shitty work outings? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, bar mitzvahs? Yeah.